Let's take a look into how we can actually switch around how we pass our data. So instead of going from the parent and sending with props here the data to the child, let's see if we can send or emit something from the child to the parent. It could be data, it could be an event, it could be more than one thing. Now, we're probably gonna do an event here. So once you click something, it's going to update or push stuff into the array in the, chair, in the parent here. So we're going to have an event down here and have the event pushed up to parent here and then update something, right? So first off, we're just going to be working with cakes.view and content.view. So cakes will be the child element, cakes the content will be the parent element here. Now, if you go to the top of your cake, that view, kick the view if you call it the same as me. Um, we're just gonna add in a button here. So, and make sure that you add the type of button so it knows for exactly what it is. And in here, we just wanna add some beverage. Um, and I'm just gonna add the dash child here so we know this is uh, through the child component, right? And inside the button here, we wanna add a uh, click. So you can either do V on, whoops, like so. Oh, good lord, like be on click, or if you want to start using the shorthand notation, you can do at click as well, equals to the same. And in this one, we are going to create one called update, so a method called update in this case. So once I click this, it's going to update, it's going to emit this event, and then do something within the parent element since I click this button each time. Okay, this is, this is it actually for our HTML, for the cake. And down here in our method, we need to create the method here. And we need to create one called update, because that's the name of it. Um, and this is a function, and we want to do those, and these, and then we go. So in the update uh, method down here, we are going to use the emit. So we're going to emit something. And in our case, we're going to emit this click here, or this name of this method here called update. So wh whenever we click the button, it's emitting this event. Uh, and then we're grabbing that in the parent element. And we do this by using this and then emit, like so. This will trigger this uh, method here. And inside here, we're going to send out the update, which is from up here, right? So when we click it, we send this. We also send this out. We emit it uh, out so the parent element can actually grab it and use it. All right, these are actually the things we need in our child element here. Uh, so button up here and the method down here where we emit whatever we're doing. Cool. Save that, go to your content, and let's look in here. Now, I want somewhere to print out whatever I'm doing. In our case, I want to print out the beverages, so I'm just going to create a short little uh, li here, a ulli here, and I want to use a v4 in this one, because I can have more. I'm going to push out a beverage for each time I click the button, right? So first off, I want to push out the beverage, beverage, and also index because it's going to complain if I don't have that. Um, and that's going to be in beverages with an S. And then you add the key and it's going to be index. So this is it for our for loop, right? And in here, as a starter, we're just going to type in beverage. We need to add a little bit more, but let's wait with that. Uh, so we were going to print out this one um, for each time print something. So let's leave it this here for now and let's go down to our method. So after our, uh, where we go, we want to create a method after our data that's right here, methods. And in here, we want to add our new, there we go, that's right, keys. And we want to add something to our emit here. So it grabs everything and updates depending on what's happening, right? So the first thing, the first thing we want to do is have somewhere we can actually just push data into our uh, loop or our uh, beverages up here, right? So we can actually see things. So let's do this by using this and then beverages with an S and then we're going to push into this one. And in here, why do we have an error? That's weird. Uh, myth oh, oh, sorry, I forgot to give it a name. <laughs> Whoops. So we're gonna give it a name, add beverages, beverage, there we go. This is the name we want for our method, like this, so sorry for that. And then in here, we're going to use this keyword and then beverages, and then we're going to push into this one. And in the push, we wanna, in our case, we just wanna create something with brands, so that could be 
something you drink, um, whatever you drink. Uh, I'm not going to name anything, but whatever. Um, some beverage brand, right? That's a good brand. You know it. You like it. Anyways, for each time we uh, activate this this method here called add beverages, uh, or without yes, we are going to push a new or some beverages into this one, right? So let's see what this does. Uh, let's go back up here. So remember the name here, or copy this, because we need to also add this. So it's actually listening to the update that's being fired from Cake here. We have the method and we have the button, right? So emit the update, the event update, and whenever we click it, and we also need to grab that update inside our parent element here. And whenever it grabs this, it's going to start populating our list with this method down here, right? So this is our child component that we are importing and using and printing out all the cakes and so on and so on and so on, right? In here, we're going to add a update and that's called V or V on, or you can use the add sign again if you want to. And then we're going to use the update. That's the one we created, right? And in here, we're going to fire whenever this emitted event is being captured from in the parent element that is being sent from the child element, we're going to fire a method here. And what's the method we want to fire? Well, it's this one down here because that's the one who's going to populate things. So push just in here and let's click save and let's just quickly go through it again. Child element, child component, sorry, uh, cakes here uh, where we are already binding things to it, so it's printing out through the props and everything. And then whenever we click on the button here, this update here, that emits the, up the event that we do, so the click event called update. And then we're grabbing the event here, and whenever that's being grabbed or triggered, then we're firing a method here called add beverages. So let's try and see what this does to our browser. Whoops, I clicked the wrong button. Let's do this, and hopefully when I click this, and let's go see whatever I made. As console, whoa, there's a lot of console logs. Let's see. Uh, property method, beverage is not. Beverage, beverage. Oh, right, sorry. We need to create the beverages here. So we have an array where we need to push things in. We can't just push them into nowhere. So remember to create the beverages here uh, like this. And have them up here inside the data object, so we actually have some way to push it. Let's try this again, see, hopefully it works. No errors this time. And now you can see it's just, ooh, we forgot something as well here. It's a good day, I feel. So right now it's printing out the entire object, but in beverages we need to print out the brand, right? Brand down here, I think it's S, uh, because that's what we're doing here. We're storing the brands, and hopefully it'll work now. Some brand, you see now, this works. Instead of printing out, we're printing out inside the array and just the name or in the key and the value here. But this is how we can actually uh, send an event from our child element up to our parents and trigger something to happen. You can both send data, but you can also just send an event to trigger, to populate data, like in this case, like I did it here. So hopefully that makes sense. And in the next video, we're going to look into the event bus.